Our last section for chapter 15 to cover gives us a different definition of acids and bases, and that is, uh, or that those are our Lewis acids and bases. So our Bronsted-Lowry definition of an acid or a base was where the proton was coming from and going to. So basically what was donating and what was accepting the proton. In other words, looking at the positive charge. Lewis acids and bases look at it as, okay, the positive charge doesn't really exist. A positive is, is more an absence of electrons. So Lewis acids and bases look at where the electrons are going. So a Lewis acid definition Lewis acid is going to be an electron pair acceptor. Whereas the Bronsted Lowry definition, this is the proton donor. A Lewis base is going to be where those electrons come from. They are the electron pair donor. And again, our Bronsted Lowry definition we have a proton acceptor. So in order to understand this acid-base characteristic, we need to look at our Lewis structures. Okay. So we want to look at, say, NH3. We know as a base, we'll force water to be our acid. It's weak, so we're going to form NH4 plus and, excuse me, OH minus. Now, we looked at this identifying our base, our acid. Let's just label those. Our base, our acid, as where the proton's going. Mm -hmm. uh, for Lewis acid and Lewis base, we want to figure out where the electrons are going. So we have to look at our Lewis structures. So if we look at ammonia here, or NH3, we have a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen. And then for our water, we have oxygen in the center with two pairs of, or two lone pairs of electrons. So NH3 wants to be our base, so it needs to donate a pair. Water is our acid, so it needs to accept a pair. So what happens, is this lone pair on the nitrogen is going to be donated to one of the hydrogens on water. And when it's donated, it's actually shared. And okay, so they're going to share this. And then because the hydrogen doesn't want four total electrons, it only wants two, it's gonna get its two from nitrogen, so it's going to kick off these two electrons that were in the bond that being shared are going to be kicked onto the oxygen. So our nitrogen here is going to have four hydrogens. These are the three original hydrogens plus the fourth, which is going to give that nitrogen a formal charge of plus one. Then our oxygen is still bonded to one of the hydrogens. It has its original two lone pairs of electrons, and it gains that extra one from this sharing of electrons. So this is one pair of electrons that came from the nitrogen, and then those are also new electrons that came from that bond moving over. So that's all we need to know about for Lewis acids and bases. 
Um, that's about as in-depth as we're going to go. The Lewis acids and Lewis base definition is uh, much more applicable and you'll see it more once you get into organic chemistry.